greatness. <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. We back here with the one and only The Walking Dead with the final episode. I don't know. How, I don't know. I, I, is this the one that's going to they gonna be a two part? I, I don't know. It's episode 16. It's the season finale. I don't know if there's going to be. I think they said there's going to be two parts to this. Right? I think. I don't think this is the last one. I, I don't remember what you guys said. Okay? It was, it was at least two months ago. <laughs> or a month ago. I don't know. But um, it's been a while. So I don't know exactly. But we do know that our crew is in trouble we do know that that they are in trouble with the whisperers attacking and they found out where they at so now they got to be prepared because they figured out that they were being led astray but they figured out oh oh they over there all right we going over there whisperers are some scary people man and we're gonna see what happens i know i still have the same background and with i should have a background without ricking it but I don't care. Rick is my dude. And until we get those movies that you guys say is coming out, you know what I'm saying, which I will definitely be doing reactions to. I'm not going to the theaters to see these Walking Dead movies. I'm going to wait until they drop and then I'm going to do reactions to them. Um, so I will hold out so I can do the reactions for y'all once those movies about what's going on with Rick and Jadis and that side because i don't know why they decide to do that that is you know what i'm saying is <laughs> i guess because they couldn't get rick to come back i guess that's the only way he would have came back i don't know because as far as i know it seems like they were saying that rick didn't want to do the show anymore or something like that i don't know i don't know the story behind it i tend to not look up too much details about shows i'm watching because i don't want to be spoiled about anything i want to go in fresh i know that no episodes were out or anything but people talk people talk okay and i'm pretty sure there were people figuring shit out from the little trailer they got for this episode you know what i mean and you don't want to dive too much into certain things because you might be spoiling yourself and for for certain shows i don't want to be spoiled at all I don't want to know anything. I want to go in blind so I can give genuine reactions to stuff and you guys can see genuine reactions to stuff. Okay, so thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all for tuning in for this episode. I know that you guys are probably not going to see this until Tuesday. The episode dropped last night. I have to react to it tonight, which is Monday night. So you guys probably won't see this until tomorrow or I might release it late tonight if it's ready. <laughs> I will get it up to you guys tonight, but I'm going to try to do it because I do have some other stuff that I need to do for early access this week, tonight, so I'm going to try to get as much done as possible. So let's jump into this episode. Let's not waste any time. I know all y'all are already gone <laughs> to watch the reaction, but anyways, let's get to it. Alright, so that was season 10 episode 16 season 10 finale Wow They did it justice No doubt. I mean you could you could go as far to say maybe they could have Hand it with more of a bang, but I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with what they did I think they to the time that they had us waiting to see this episode between I know that things were interrupted by COVID and stuff like that but just in my personal opinion <laughs> my PS4 my PS4 is on and I'm literally looking to see what the hell is going on because man that PS4 be struggling <laughs> and anybody knows the struggle of a PS4 when that thing starts making noise bro <laughs> like you think something is happening but it's really not it's just weird <laughs> but in any case um yeah so as i said you could make a case for you know they could have 
ended it with a bang but for what it is and you know i thought they should have probably tried to at least stretch the episode out give us an extra 15 minutes and you know um for the time that they took uh, but it is what it is you know I i'm satisfied with the ending it wasn't the best season ender you know that we've seen in in um in the walking dead for sure but i think they did a pretty good job for what it is you know what i'm saying defeating the whisperers um i like particularly the scene of it, it just how funny how things come full circle between daryl and negan because he ended up saving negan's life from beta um that was so in some ways badass but very gross when beta pull the two knives out of his freaking brain okay first of all no <laughs> okay <laughs> there is no other way to explain that that's somebody pushed two long ass blades through your eyes you are not pulling that shit out <laughs> okay okay i can get it if it was like a short knife to the length of those knives that daryl has been using all this time we're talking about something taller than six inches bruh taller than six inches six inches is long six inches is about this bruh that's he gotta have hit brain he gotta have hit brain there's no way you gotta be the most alpha male ever <laughs> this man is a chad for real for real you know what i'm saying but it was still badass to see but let's be honest in reality that's not happening that's pretty much instant death you get what i'm saying if you look at the the, the length of the blade like it's gotta be more than that six inches going in he gotta have hit brain you know what i'm saying um but it's not even the fact that he got stabbed he, you know what i'm saying and you might not have been instantly dead from two knives stabbing you in the in through the eyes but the fact that he had the strength to pull both of them out <laughs> you know that's what's really really surprising but in any case um for a minute there, I started to get a little choked up because I thought they were going to kill off um, Carol's character. Um, but I held it. I, I was still holding our hope to the last second because I thought if if Lydia is not going to save her, is not going to save her, then Daryl is going to show up. But Daryl didn't show up. It was Lydia. And I've seen how they've, you know, they've been trying to build a relationship between both of them because it's kind of like, Carol losing a son gaining a daughter you know what I'm saying and you know Lydia saying to her you know I'm not looking for a substitute mom or anything like that you know what I'm saying she the thing about it is that she's still you know in that zone where I respect Lydia for the decisions that she's made ever since she got in the show even though at first you know once the you find a little bit more about her, about the abuse that her mom was giving to her. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, but at the same time, you could see that Alpha still loved her. But I think she might have felt some sort of way that Lydia was okay with them, or she feels better that Lydia was with them. But then she, you know what I'm saying? I think Alpha was just a little bit confused about so many different things. And I think she was just. You know what I'm saying? She had probably multiple personalities just going around in her head. You know, and sometimes she'll give in to one and then she'll give in to the other. You know, like when she was, you know, saving Lydia's things and, you know, hoping that she came back and stuff like that. You know, um, it's just certain things that just happened in season 10 that just really um showed you that you know what i'm saying the writers are really going through it to get these episodes done and to write them in a way where us the consumer the watchers of the show can be satisfied not necessarily over the top 
about certain things but at least satisfied at the end of seasons because i don't think they have i don't think they hit the peak of the walking dead in i know a lot of people love season 9 and season 10 but i don't think they hit the peak of where we're talking about earlier seasons in this show like i don't think they've hit that but it's close you get what i'm saying so i really do appreciate them and so shout out to the writers of the show man for you know writing a great story it just kind of sucks that you know they're not gonna have the privilege to write a character like rick anymore because you know movies <laughs> which i in my opinion i think it's a dumb decision because the viewership and the money that you that you can make you get what i'm saying from you know stretching out a movie into like three or six episodes you get what i'm saying of explaining why you know what i'm saying you could even do pull a game of thrones they could have done that and still made a ton more money because for me it's just like you go to the theater one time and that's it you can make a lot more money because people are going to continuously 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 come back come back go to the theater it's a theater experience and they might be releasing it on blu-ray later but who's going to care at that point how many people is going to pick up the walking dead movies like <laughs> you know what i mean but that's just my opinion you may have a different opinion about it but that's just how i feel about it i feel like they're not they're just not gonna have that same draw people are going to go watch these movies because i'm pretty sure rick is the majority of the fan base's favorite character i'm pretty sure of that you know what i'm saying so people are going to go watch the movies no doubt about it but at the end of the day as i said i think they would make more money if they stretch it out like say a game of thrones season eight kind of thing just do some mini movies and just give us a long extension of the series instead of you know doing you know two movies which is probably going to be an hour and a half um movies i mean hour and a half to two hour movies um to show us that side of the story and i'm guessing that michonne is going to be in that story in in those movies too um but i'm also happy that maggie is back right um I, I'm, I truly am happy that she is back man uh one of my favorite characters in the show lovely lovely lady love seeing her on screen and everything and she means so much to the story come going back from i think it was season i want to say season two I, I think it was season two when they met up with them at the farm right so we've come a long way with some with with these characters man um you know we can sit and talk about old girl getting eaten like she was the only basic well she wasn't the only casualty but the only i want to say the only regular on the show well not really regular but we could call her a regular on the show that we lost during this time everybody else is safe i don't know why we didn't see uh, um where were those other people how did they out there waiting you know rosita and them where were they that's what i want to know and how did they meet up you know i still want to know who is this dude with the two hatchet things going around with maggie i want to know who the hell that is um is that jesus son huh <laughs> i don't know i'm just kidding but anyways yeah i know jesus was gay <laughs> you know but in any case i i i even <laughs> i even feel weird saying that you know what i'm saying i even feel weird saying that because now they know we, we don't want to say that i don't want to utter statements like that <laughs> but in any case we're talking about the jesus from the show okay all right let me clarify all right so any case guys this was an incredible incredible season finale i loved it so if i should give season 10 a rating i would give it a solid 9 out of 10 i enjoyed it it wasn't a perfect season by any means there were some really good moments um i don't think it measures up to a i don't even think season 10 was better than season 9 to be honest i think season 9 really brought back you know that oomph that 
the series had and they dropped dropped it a little bit both seasons were great um i think i gave season 9 a 10 out of 10 but this season um is a 9 out of 10 for me um so yes they did some great stuff this season man um you know with rick missing you know it, it's just it feels like something is just missing from the show that that's just my opinion that's just my personal opinion not being objective on the rating or anything like that for me just it, it just felt like a big part of the show was missing with him not being there at all and we don't know what's going on with him and then i hear oh he's just gonna be in two movies like i think my stomach just dropped because of that information and for me just felt like something was really missing um for me like to have a main character just completely gone from a story that you've been enjoying for nine seasons you get what i'm saying so that was really that was really um you know just for me my personal feelings towards the show i don't i get you know i don't know what's exactly what's the reason some people say oh you know the character wanted to leave or whatever the situation is and you know I, i'm not saying that you know they shouldn't have done that or whatever people have their personal lives and their personal reasons for doing things or whatever the situation is so it's not a, about that it's just how i feel personally not having that character around anymore that's just me but i heard about the movies i'm gonna be watching the movies but as i said um these movies what i'm going to be doing with them is quite simple okay what i'm going to be doing with the movies is quite simple i'm not going to be going to the theaters to watch them when they drop whenever that's going to be it's probably two three years from now but i will wait until they come out right i will wait until these releases um come out and you know for blu-ray or whatever and then i'll be able to watch them um you know for myself but in any case this was incredible it was an incredible season finale i liked it very much you know i like what they did man they did a great job of wrapping it up um wrapping up the season and i appreciate that thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all hope y'all enjoyed the reaction i think things the things that they teased at the end there the stormtroopers showing up you know what i'm saying um where the hell they get that stuff from who's out here making stormtrooper uniforms that's what i want to know okay who's out here well where are they from yeah you know i'm saying it's like what is going on what what is this new technology you know what i'm saying that is making stormtrooper uniforms i want to know you know and i had a feeling something like that was not the stormtrooper bit but i felt like i i just felt like in that moment that i was gonna like there were gonna be lights turned on and something like that was going to happen because i've you i've seen that being set up in so many different movies and tv shows you know like it's kind of like you just you just have a, a sixth sense about these things when they're about to happen sometimes but that's crazy though um you know it was nuts a lot of it was very surprising favorite moment of the entire episode was definitely daryl versus beta he did not hesitate they didn't they didn't draw it out like you know rick versus negan it was just clean you know what i'm saying i mean they've been going at it um you know they've had their battles in the past you know, <laughs> you know what i'm saying they they had their their you know so it was like oh i got you now oh no no you don't got me mm, i got you now but you know it was like that so it was great it was great i enjoyed it very much hope you guys enjoyed it too of course leave a like on the video leave a comment and i will catch you guys later man bye